Thank you, Carl. Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary as well. And I'm here to begin the um, 12 videos for all 12 signs for the month of January. And this is the first time I'm saying it, 2018. Um, first, I'd just like to take maybe just a moment of your time to say, um, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, those that you that celebrate the season. And wishing everybody a new year because we're all the same across the board. I'll give or take some places in the world or depends which calendar you follow. Um, Happy New Year. Wishing everybody the very, very best from my heart to yours. Sincerely so. And a huge thank you to all the support that I received over the last um, month and a half almost. I didn't realize it's been that long. Um, and I'm, I'm doing okay. We, you know, you have your moments, right? Um, but overall, and I, I'm, I, you know, some people are going to, you know, they've already said, I'm surprised to see you even on at all. Cause I've made a couple of videos. Um, the thing being the reason why before anybody wonders what the heck is she doing back so soon is because I find if I keep busy, it makes the days go by easier for me. Um, I get up and I have a purpose. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm either tired or I'm ready to go. There doesn't seem to be any middle ground. And, um, the daytime hours are the hardest to put in. The evenings I come alive. This is when I'm at my best, just like a witch. <laughs> I would be called that because of that trait I have. You're a witch. <laughs> you like the dark. I like the sun and the blue sky too. <laughs> it's just that, um, I don't know. Evenings have always been a me time, my time, just for me. So anyways, um, thank you for all the cards and donations and uh, the gifts and the thought. Every card, every gift, everything that came to me in this time, you you could, anybody else looking and, and seeing these things could see the thought that went behind that you didn't just grab a card and just riddle off, you know, to you and I'm sorry and, and stuck it in the mail. There was thought put behind every card and every gift, every gesture that came forward. Um, you guys really, you really reinstilled my faith in that there's so much good in the world. And that humans at the very core of us were more alike than we are different. And everybody is touched by loss at some point in their lives. Um, so I know that there was a lot of empathy going out. People understand, not empathy, but a, a lot of emphatic-ism um, going on. Uh, people could, could relate and they could feel. And I want to thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Sincerely, sincerely, thank you so much. Uh, so I'm going to try to make it through the 12 videos to get these out for January the 1st. Oh my, what's 2018 going to hold? Anyway, the um, first reading I'm going to do, um, 
coming up now is for the sign of Capricorn and will work out. Aquarius will follow from there. So, uh, but everybody, everybody will get their readings. So I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to be using, of course, my Oceanic deck. Um, and, um, my, uh, deck of, they're not mine. These belong to Lynn. Oh gosh. What's her name? Wagner. I can't remember her name. Um, but anyways, and these are the Doreen Virtue, uh, Angel Tarot. Um, with lots of really great messages. They're gorgeous cards. It's my first Doreen Virtue um, a set of cards. They were a Christmas gift from my girl, Sherry. Thank you very much, Sherry. So I'll be pulling from that, and I might refer to the book as well. I might do that. Um, so I'm going to do the five-card spread. You guys know the drill with the monthlies. Um, it will be um, overall energy, finances and wealth, health, no hearth and home, love, your challenges for January, and then your message from spirit. And then at the very end, I will pull your significator as well, plus your angel message. All right. So here we go. On to Capricorn. Hello, Pisces. So we're about to do your January reading for the year 2018, a brand new year. So I've already gone ahead and I've done three shuffles, one for the Oceanic for the five card spread and then one from deck of tarot for your significator for the overall reading and i pulled an angel card for you as well from doreen virtue all right so i've consulted with pendulum pendulum says yes these are your cards okay so your overall energy nine of swords anxiety Finances, wealth, the hanged man, and limbo. Your hearth, your home, anything to do with love in your heart. It is the lovers, and it's about choices. Your challenges for the month of January. Transformation. Death. And your message from spirit is the king of the ocean and order. And I just heard everything that begins well, ends well. Okay. All right. Where have I placed... My glasses. Oh dear. I need them because the computer screen kills me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, they're on the other side of the room. One moment. Well, I'm not going to stop to look. The, the wind sock come off the top that it's dropped around here somewhere. And uh, I'd rather have it. I don't want to sound too breathy. <laughs> All right. We're just going to go with this. Here we go. Okay, so. Nine of, wand, or nine of swords, eh? Pisces? What are you worried about? What's got you down? What's keeping you up at night? What's, you know, waking you up at 3 a.m. and you find yourself sitting on the side of the bed with your head in your hands, you know? Um, here's the thing about worry. It doesn't do anybody any good. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, it just raises your anxiety levels, raises your blood pressure, not in a good way. But this is the anxiety card of the tarot overall. So says tarot, there's trouble brewing beneath the surface. 
Um, it's, it's, you're hold, you're holding things in. You're not really dealing with them. Um, you're trying to carry on as normal. That there's really nothing to worry about. Um, but that's not the truth. Um, you're worried, 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 sick. For some, this could be financial problems. For others, just this, you're, you're, I just feel somebody's losing their whole sense of security in every way, shape, and form is what I'm hearing. And I'm feeling that as well. It's very overwhelming and it's very strong. And I'm seeing this because it's it's sending out the message. It's everything. It's everything. It's it's like being in the circle of everything that we live with every day. That if we stop and think about what really frightens us, um, we'd all be half half out of our minds with fear. And somebody's doing that to themselves. There's there's just this constant worry. There's this fear of losing everything as you know it your whole world coming to some kind of a change major where you don't recognize anything anymore somebody's living with that kind of a fear that's a horrible place to be um but it's coming out in your dreams you're having nightmares For some, this could be from your job, your place of work. Um, it's more than that. It's more, it's more, or maybe someone places so much importance on their job. It's, that, And it is everything, your job, your income, it's your income, it's your bread. Um, but for somebody, this is on the job. You find yourself retreating from other people little by little by little. And that includes the closest people to you. Your your mate, spouse, children, parents, friends. You're pulling back. Because it's exhausting pretending that everything is fine. You find that harder than that, you know, this this putting on airs. You find that more difficult. Um, to do than spending the time and 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 um, brooding brooding is less tiring for you so you tend to pull back and when you pull back you spend more time brooding because that's why why you're doing it and that's what you end up doing and really in the bigger picture that's no good for anybody um, some of you are having some severe family issues and uh, you know sleepless sleepless nights that are that are due to stress and overthinking and overthinking is a key word here you because for somebody you are overthinking things you're expecting the worst and in your twisted kind of way i'm hearing um but if i expect the worst then the worst won't really come it, it won't happen that's not at a hundred percent um just saying the advice of this card, what keeps you up at 3 a.m. looks a lot smaller in the light of day, and that's usually the truth. Keep your perspective when negative thoughts get in your way. That That's key for you, okay? Keep your perspective. Don't become emotionally overwhelmed where that blinds you to everything else. Make sure you stay in touch with reality and have a nice balance. Try to work at that. It'll take work to put some balance into your perspective, to see things for as they are and see things for the way you know they should be. Your keywords are panic attacks, guilt, insomnia, nightmares, stress, and mental overload. Overthinking is really coming to the forefront here. You're causing yourself a lot more physical stress, worrying about this than need be. Your finances and wealth, things are on hold, but that's okay. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean it's bad. Not at all. 
what this means is that there's a decision being made about something to do with you and your 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 self-worth to start with that always comes before everything then your money when i mean self-worth i mean your character who you are what you're really made of this kind of a thing somebody's basing a financial bottom line either for or against you somebody's holding the, all the cards will say you're on hold until they make a decision I'm hearing the decision is eventually going to go in your way. You'll get basically what it is you're expecting. But there's going to be a couple of little, yeah, there's a, there's a few things. There's always a few things. Strings, some people call them. A couple of little strings. You have to ask yourself, are you up to doing that kind of a commitment? And you have to think about that. But somebody else is, is holding you. So you're on, you're basically hanging in limbo until a decision comes forward for you um, and, and hopefully going in your favor. I'm hearing chances are it is, like I said, but there's going to be a few strings that you weren't, you didn't even envision. <sighs> You're going to be taken aback. You're going to be feeling offense. You're going to be then angry or tiffed off. You know what I mean. Um, but you'll find a compromise. You will feel like you're compromising too, by the way. That feeling will be there. Nothing, this this is kind of big for some. Nothing like this comes free. Nothing like this comes easy. It is what it is. It is the way it is. It's the way the world turns. Um, but you're feeling really stuck and feeling on hold, waiting for this decision for you to be made. Um, you're feeling like you have no control, you're feeling frustrated, and you will compromise. But the hangman is asking you, Pisces, to stay calm. Take advantage of that imposed idleness, that imposed um, limbo that you're in, that you've been shoved into. Take advantage of that and start using this. Since you can't really tangibly do anything else to change anything, there's no physical moves you can make your hands are tied but this isn't use this um paint out different scenarios in your imagination on which way if it goes against you or goes for you use that time clever okay be clever and use that time and play out both those scenarios so no matter what answer comes back at you you're ready for both and try to get the best out of each one, even the negative one. If it's against you, find the best in there. And where are you going to go through? Um, and what are you going to go through? And where are you going to go to to get to where you need to be, where you want to be? All right? So you need to brace yourself for that. Either way, that's the best thing that you can do when you're kind of tied up like that. It's a good time to think. Um, you may get tempted to throw in the towel. And take immediate gratification for something rather than wait for the big prize, the big receive, the big, you know, check. Um, instant fixes only fix things for an instant. Is that what you want? Or do you want the bigger picture? Where it changes the game plan altogether, really. That's up to you. The decision's going to be in your ballpark, as they say. But don't rush into it, is what Tarot's saying. Please don't rush into any kind of instant fixes. Um, think about any options that you have. This is time well, 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 um, is not is not wasted. It's well used. Use this time to your advantage. Make the time that you find yourself in limbo work for you, not you for it. The advice of this card is to use this, to use this time waiting um, to um, look at things in a different light. That's another thing. You could look at things in a different light altogether. See, see if you take a different perspective. Look at everything objectively, like you have nothing at stake, like you're on the outside looking in at somebody else, and look at it that way. I know I say that a lot. Sorry, but I do because it's true. You get a different perspective. It really puts, uh, as I say, put changes the water on the beans. It just changes what it, what you know you've observed and what you've seen. 
it does affect it. So use your intuition at this time. It'll probably be one of the best friends you have. Your keywords are waiting in time. Um, restriction, sacrifice, insight, purpose, and viewpoint. All right. So this is basically more or less it is a financial decision. But it's not a bad card to have. Now in your hearth and in your home, we have the lovers and it's all about choices. So what this is basically overall, I mean, I don't have, I'm stating the obvious here, right? It's all about a love relationship of some kind. I'm seeing a marriage. I'm seeing two people. It is male. It is female. Husband and wife. And they've reached a, a turning point. You have reached a turning point. And there's some serious decisions that have to be made. Do I stay or do I go? Um, you're really, really looking into your future and you're really questioning what's going on. That's for somebody. I see two people having a very serious discussion, just very much like in the picture. They're not mermaids. No, no. Um, Here's the thing. There's real no right or wrong answer. If you say, should I do this? Shouldn't I? You really, really, really have to sit down and have a real good long heart to heart with yourself. Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now if you stay? Why are you questioning leaving in the first place? These are things you have to ask yourself and be really, really hard. Give yourself some hardcore truth. And how does that make you feel looking ahead 10 years from now? Does it feel hopeful? Does it feel no matter what comes at you, you can survive it? Does it go on the other side of that? Does it look like a really good place to be? Not where you are right now. You have to ask yourself these questions. Um, so you're, you're, you're to the point. You're to the point, so says Tarot, that you either commit and you bond or you quietly walk away. Emphasis on quiet. Just walk away. So you, somebody's come to that point. You're going to have to make the decision. Um, for those of you at, um, at this time, if you're single, there's a new love coming into your life right now. Brand new relationship starting for somebody. Um, and I feel, I'm smiling because it feels like a good it feels like a um, a good coming together, a good pairing. Starting off the new year as well. Very, very um, auspicious, I would say, is the word I would use. So it's a good thing. Um, the advice of the card is to make your choices on the long term. Hence the card before that as well, the card of Limbo, the Hangman. And always look at your, that's what this energy is for the month. You're looking at the long term. All right. Anything, anything that's, that could affect your life for two years or longer is really long term. Maybe long term is only a month to you or a week. I don't know. It depends on what your situation is and what you're looking at. But you're being encouraged to look at the bigger picture at this time for this month at least. I'm feeling that's going to carry into February as well. There'll be an overlap of things going on that'll carry from January into February. And I have to do with these decisions that you make. Um, your keywords are love and commitment, future plans, maturity, emotions, separation. Remember, it's general reading. It's not going to apply to everybody. Absolutely not. All right, your challenges for the month. We got the card of death, which is transformation. Hence, and focus on transformation. All right? This means a big change coming up in somebody's life. And no, it doesn't mean for the worst at all. Don't think that at all. But you're going to any kind of change, even a really good change, is always a challenge. There's always going to be challenges with any kind of change. It can be 
it could be nerve wracking settling into something really wonderful too. It has its own place. Um, but there's a great change coming. Um, what, what nature does nature as, 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 um, in the best of ways possible removes what is no longer needed in your life, no longer supposed to be in your life and nature in the most natural way removes what needs to go to make room for the new that's coming in. So that's going to go on for most of you. All right. What is not needed will be taken to make room for the new. This could be work and it could be relationships. It could be old habits or just old ways of thinking, old ways of believing, old ways of living. You may be, I'm hearing, turning a corner. There's a turning point for some of you out there in the month of January. Um, death will also, um, the, the death card will also um, clear away any confusion um, in the most natural way. This card also is very representative of bringing new people and new ideas and new opportunities into your life. A whole new era is going to beckon for somebody. All right. In the best of ways. The advice is to allow what will be will be. Do not resist any change that comes your way. Embrace the changes. Even if you question them, embrace those changes. Your keywords are rebirth and endings, chance, beginnings, release, relief, and conclusions. You're going to have to deal with some changes in the month of January. Your last card, your message from spirit. It's a good card to have. He represents order. He's the king of the ocean. He's the big daddy. He's the big cheese, the big kahuna, the big tuna. <laughs> Maybe his name's Tony the Tuna. <laughs> anyway. He's here to bring you reassurance that everything's going to be okay. Okay. Um, he's here to tell you that if any of your own personal borderlines in your life, it'd be a personal, be it work, be it anything like that, anything like that. He, this energy, this person, this could even be you. You may identify with this. Um, is here that your borders are going to be, your borderlines in your life are going to be um, restored. Your security is going to be restored. Your place in the cosmos will be restored. Your place here on Terra Firm is going to be restored along with your position within your family line, within your friend line, your coworker. Everything is going to come back the way it should be and even better than before. That's what this is here for. Any upset, any breakups, any sudden moves, um, sudden job changes, sudden relationship changes, anything like that it is all going to settle in by the end of the month. You will find yourself in a more comfortable position. Um, for those of you that were starting your month off with this, you are going to end up with this. All right. So you're going to go from that to here. That tells me it's going to be an awful lot of uh, inner growth going on and destiny as well is come to play. All right, destiny's a play in your life at this time as well. Um, this card here, he's a really good guy, um, but he does the, he's here to tell you that your balance in your life is going to be restored. There's going to be an end to disputes as well. Um, things are going to be set to right again. Things will be set to right. Um, your home will be uh, more organized and at work. If you had any kind of a you know, carry some kind of leadership position of any kind, that'll be restored to you. You won't lose your place on your job at work. Um, as, 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 as a, um, as a male, he makes the perfect ideal partner or even the perfect father figure, um, could be an uncle or somebody like that. That's come in to give you advice, to stand beside you, to help you get your sh together, to, um, this kind of thing, or it's an overall energy of it's all going to be okay. You already know. You're feeling very, very confident at this point. Everything's going to work out just fine. You started the month out like crap, but it's going to end out pretty good for you. Um, I'm 
for the advice of the card. Now's the time to uh, get to work on your different projects or things that you have in your mind. Get your home in order. This is uh, being advised to you as well. You can uh, take back control at this time. You're going to get control back of your life. You, you're going to have, you're going to have the, the power to do that. You're going to feel very, very strong. And I'm taking back control of my life. I'm grabbing the reins from here on out. Um, the keywords are protection and um, protection and wonder, authority. territories and boundaries security it's a great card to have that was your five card spread all right so the next card that i chose for you was the knight of wands from the deck of tarot this is your significator all right so when you get the knight of wands it comes up as your significator this is looking um this is having a this is like a broad view um this meaning particular not not just the significator itself but the broad the broad meaning of this card the knight of wands the knight of wands signifies a departure from challenge it shows you saying you know what i'm done i'm walking on walk on i'm finished it shows you abandoning something abandoning something you're you're letting something go you're throwing in the towel you're saying, I, I don't care. I lose, you win. I don't care, but I'm out of here. Um, not quite sure what that's all about. Um, and for some others, you can be unsure. Of, um, uh, I'm feeling a little, a little on the edge, unsure. A little bit of cold feet when it comes to commitment. Um, and you're having a hard time dealing with your own feelings, let alone dealing with somebody else. That's most of your problem. If you're held up, because I'm feeling held up, holding back, wanting to go forward, but can't move you're doing that to yourself you really got to stop and ask yourself that what's holding me back why can't i seem to move forward why can't i that's what i'm that's what i'm i'm feeling that pretty strong um in positive terms though this card indicates that one may have escaped difficulties so maybe your intuition was saying throw in the towel get your butt out of there just go cut your losses and leave is what i just heard cut your losses and leave um okay so that's your knight your uh, tarot and now the angel reading your angel message and i pulled for you the knight of water okay so it's a beautiful card I find I, I like these cards. They're pretty, but I find they're a little busy. You have to really stop and look real hard at them to take in the whole picture. Like there's stuff on here. I almost want a magnifying glass. But anyways, emotional and romantic, enthusiastic, enthusiastic, <laughs> enthusiastic, contemplative. Those are the key words. For this card emotional romantic enthusiastic and contemplative and the message of the card falling in love or wedding proposals Ooh. the need to balance your emotions is going to be there as well and you're going to get an invitation to a social event of some kind i'll let you look at the card again and just try to take that in there's so much on these cards it's um And the lighting doesn't do these cards any justice, that's for sure. But anyway, there, I'm not going to get into any more than that. I don't want your um, reading to be too drawn out. It's drawn out enough at 27 minutes. Anyways, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I hope you got something from it. I hope you were fed. I hope you were entertained. And overall, you just liked it and it gave you some hope. That's what I hope for. Um, also, if you like this reading and you'd like to have um, 
a private reading, I do offer that service. The information for the private readings is found down below this video window in the show more section. Please read through there once. Send me off an email requesting your reading, and I'll send you the information that I need to conduct your reading with, and I'll get you taken care of pretty quick. Um, also, you may join us on a Facebook under groups. Um, Bay of Fundy Fortunes. It is a closed and private group. You're more than welcome to join us there. And it's full of very beautiful souls and like-minded people like me and just like you. And it's closed and it's private. You can feel safe there. So I think that's about it. I'm going to say goodbye for tonight. I really, really do wish you a great new year ahead. I can't say it enough. Thank you all once again. Um, Thank you for letting me be a part of your day, your evening, your afternoon, your life a little bit. Thank you very much for uh, leaving a spot there. I appreciate it very much. So if you're ever looking for me, you can always find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes. Probably over the next month, Canada's in a deep freeze. We're getting an Arctic uh, blast down here from our Antarctic. Um, and... Um, Normally, if you didn't find me here, I'd say you'd find me walking on the beach down below me um, along the water's edge that hold the mightiest tides on the whole planet, the beautiful and the bountiful Bay of Funday. Um, wherever you do find me, chances are you're going to catch me waiting on the next high tide. Peace in so you can share the peace and love out. I hope that didn't sound loud. Sorry, I keep forgetting I'm wearing it. Um, because you you got to share the love out, but it starts inside, right? Where spirit lives, right? And then you bring it out and you share it with everybody um, in any little way that you can. Um, I hope to see you back here next year. And we'll see where the month takes us as far as the readings go. But I wish you the very, very best, the very, very best, happy new year ever. And now I'm going to go and... I'm going to go listen to the tide. I'll see you next time. Good night.